It's mind-blowing how quickly you're going to solve the integral that you see below, but only if you use this particular trick I'm about to show you. When you look at x plus 1 over x plus 2, what's your first idea on the approach for how to solve this problem? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Usually when you have division like this, polynomial division is the first step, or long division. It might be called something else, depending on what class you're in. This is where the numerator has a maximum power of x, which is 1, and the denominator has a maximum power of 1. So we would use polynomial division or long division in these cases where the numerator's maximum degree is greater than or equal to that of the denominator. But what if I told you there's a faster way to solve this problem? And it's important that you recognize these tricks because on your next AP exam, saving your time is super important, right? So let's get into that second approach. And before I show it to you, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and like button and also turn on that bell notification so that you don't miss my future videos. Okay, so with this original problem here, I want you to try a really cool trick. We're going to rewrite x plus 1 as x plus 2 minus 1. Now you might be wondering, okay, I thought you are saving me time, Dave. Why would I add something to a fraction to make this easier? But it seems like it's harder. Well, that's an understandable question to ask, and I get you. Here's why we're doing this. 1 is the same as 2 minus 1, correct? But we're using a mirroring trick here because now notice how on the left side of this fraction, you've got x plus 2 over x plus 2. And that's something that simplifies to 1 if you were to break this fraction up. And similarly, on the right side, that became easier too because now when you have minus 1 over x plus 2, this is a fraction where the degree of x in the numerator is simply 0 because you just have a constant. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of grouping here. So that way we have a difference of two fractions. And for each one, we're going to take the integral. And so for the first left-hand side, you're going to integrate x plus 2 over x plus 2, which is simply 1. That's pretty easy. And on the right-hand side, you're going to integrate 1 over x plus 2. Now, keep in mind that we know the integral of 1 over x is the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And this looks very similar to a dx over x problem. The only difference, of course, is that the denominator is x plus 2 rather than just x. But that's simple. We can just use a u substitution, right? And so if we let the variable u be the denominator, which is x plus 2, and you differentiate both sides with respect to the variable you see on each side, you would get the integral of du over u here because with our u substitution, this became a lot simpler, right? And so the left-hand side, which was the integral of 1 dx, is simply x. And then minus the integral of du over u is going to give you the natural log of the absolute value of u. But we have to remember to take care because u is actually x plus 2. So make sure to substitute that back in before you get your final answer. And there you have it. Look how much easier this question was. And I hope you like this video. Be sure to check out this other playlist you see here, and I'll catch you later.